All right, ladies, when it comes to little fixes and repairs around the house, some of us are known to recruit some help. Honeydew list, yes, um, I'll be honest, I've never unclogged a sink drain, unless using drain no counts. Uh, but handy woman, Krista Williamson, is here to show us that we can do it. Good morning, Krista. Good Thanks morning. for coming on the show. I'm so excited about this segment because um, I currently have a uh, leaky drain and I need okay. help and I, I want to do it myself. Okay. Well, now, first, tell, tell us what you do. Tell us about your company. Uh, my company's K2 Workshops and we teach home repair and home remodeling workshops. We're geared towards every workshop we teach is a hands-on experience for our homeowners. Mm -hmm. So they'll, we'll demonstrate a project and then we'll hand the tools over to them and then they'll be able to take that home and apply it to their own homes. Which is fantastic. Okay, let's, let's get under the sink. Do you want to? Okay. Yeah, this is a super easy project and the reason to show you is that it costs nothing. You don't need to go out and get the Drano and you really don't even need tools for this project. So Great, no tools, perfect. I just almost a, always just, a just grab a washcloth yeah. and a bucket and you don't need to turn off water. Anytime you're working on the drain side, you don't need to turn off the water. But if your sink's full of water and hair and gunk, try to get rid of that with a sponge or, uh, or siphon it out or a turkey baster or something. It always is. Is there any sink that's clean? Uh, no. Where a woman lives no, there? and especially oh, in here, this is really, uh, this is going to be super special when we open this up. Oh, uh, ooh, so you've got some treats in there for us. <laughs> the easy way to do this, this applies to a kitchen sink and a bathroom sink. The easiest way and a mechanical way to do it with no chemicals is to pull the trap. You can do this uh, most of the time, anytime you see a PVC, this white plastic pipe, you can grab a washcloth and just squeeze down tight and remove these and the trap is this little u-shaped piece and what it does is it traps water in here so when you take this down if it's full if you have a clog and it's full of gunk and stuff it is going to kind of dump on you so have your bucket ready bucket ready you kind of dump it down in the bucket at that point you can either a lot of times the clogs in the trap you can kind of clean that out and you can use a coat hanger i have uh a shish kebab skewer that I use oh, for like great. everything. We usually use the coat hanger. Track, yeah, so, yeah. so do that. Shish kebab. Clean it out uh, before you ever reassemble this. Clean it out really good. But you also have access to get back into where the where it drops down your wall, and you can run right up here and get any hair clogs and stuff up here too. So don't be scared. Just get down in there. Oh, it's really easy. It's a little bit of a dirty job. You might want to put on some nylon, <laughs> some gloves, or don't something wear like a that. Don't evening gown to, to yeah. work on your sink. <laughs> and you'll be, you'll be a little surprised how kind of gross it is in there. Yes. So. Oh, yes. I've yeah. seen as my, I make my husband do it. I mean, yeah. He comes out, he's like, yes, this is what you caused. All right, let's really quick, any tips on uh, the, the leaky sink up here? Yeah, let me just quick show you that oh, one sure. of the important parts is to get it back together is to get this to seat correctly, and that's probably where people have the most trouble. So you need to get these two pieces together. So you just want to get catch a couple threads on this, a couple threads on this, and let the nuts pull the whole thing back together. Oh, fantastic. That's what keeps you from clogging or, or from leaking. Under the sink, so. We need to have you back on the show. We didn't even yeah. get to do the leaky sink. Oh, I'd love to come we, back and show so you how to do it. So many things. Well, you need, Crystal, yeah. you need to come back. And really quick, um, people can sign up for your workshops. Tell us about that. Uh, we have an online presence. We're at k2workshops.org. And it has a schedule and a calendar of all the workshops we've got coming up. We teach them around town in various locations. You can find where we're going to teach them, what the cost is, and how to sign up. Fantastic. Krista, yeah. thank you so much. I'm going to come to your workshops. Is that all right? Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, thank you. All right. <laughs>